Hello friends, welcome to Vedic Academy. And here in this presentation, we are going to discuss graph of a trigonometric function called cortex. So let us write an equation y equal to cortex. And now let us find the values of y corresponding to the different values of x in a table. So here we have a table, and in the first row we are going to write the values of x, which are radians. And in the second row we are going to write the values of y for the equation y equal to cortex. So now let us begin with the radian minus three pi by two, then minus five pi by four, minus pi, minus three pi by four, minus pi by two, minus pi by four. Then we have zero. And now let us begin with positive radians, which are pi by four, pi by two, three pi by four, pi, five pi by four, three pi by two, seven pi by two, and at last two pi. So now let us find the values of y corresponding to the different values of x by substituting the values of x in the equation y equal to cot x. So let us substitute zero in the equation. So by substituting zero, we get cot zero, and we already know the value of cot zero, which is infinity. And then cot pi by four, which is equal to one, and the next radian pi by two, we get here cot pi by two, and the value of cot pi by two is zero. And the next radian, which is three pi by four, so cot three pi by four will be equal to three times of one eighty degrees divided by four. So that implies we get here cot one thirty five degrees, and which can be written as cot one eighty degrees minus forty five degrees. And this is in the form of cot one eighty minus theta, which is equal to minus cot forty five degrees. And we already know the value of cot forty five, which is one. So here we get minus one as the value of y. When x equal to three pi by four, and the next radian pi, so cot one eighty degrees will be equal to the value of cos one eighty degrees divided by the value of sine one eighty degrees. That is minus one by zero, which is equal to minus infinity. So here we get minus infinity at x equal to pi, and the next radian, which is five pi by four. So cot five pi by four will be equal to cot two twenty five degrees, and this can be written as cot one eighty degrees plus forty five degrees. And now this is in the form of cot 180 plus theta, which is equal to cot theta. So here we get cot 45, and the value of cot 45 is 1. So here we get 1 as the value of y when x equal to 5 pi by 4, and the next value which is 3 pi by 2. So cot 3 pi by 2 is nothing but cot 270 degrees, and the value of cot 270 degrees will be equal to Cos 270 degrees divided by sine 270 degrees. That is zero by minus one, which is equal to zero. So here we get zero as the value of y when x equal to 3 pi by 2. And then the next value, which is 7 pi by 2. So cot 7 pi by 2 is equal to minus one, and the value for cot 360 degrees is infinity. So here we get infinity. And now let us proceed and find the values for negative radians. So the value for cot minus pi by four will be equal to minus of the value of cot pi by four. So minus of one will be equal to minus one. So and the next value, which is minus pi by two, and its value will be minus of positive cot pi by two, which is zero. So here we get zero, and the next radian, which is minus three pi by four. So here minus of minus one is one, and then for pi minus of minus infinity, we get here infinity. And for minus pi by four, the value will be minus of one, which is minus one, and at last minus three pi by two, which is zero. So here we have the values of y corresponding to the different values of x. So now let us plot these points in a coordinate plane with a suitable scale. So here there is a coordinate plane, and this vertical line is called as y-axis, whereas this horizontal line is called as x-axis. So now let us plot the values of y. That are one and minus one on the y-axis, and this is the origin where x-axis and y-axis intersect. And now let us plot the values of x, which are radians on x-axis. So before drawing a graph of cortex, note that cortex is undefined at minus pi, at zero, at pi, and at two pi, so on. So these are the graphs at minus pi, at zero, at pi, and at two pi. And now let us plot. These values of y corresponding to the values of x on the graph sheet. So first, x equal to minus three by two. The value of y is zero. So here we get a point on x-axis as the value of y is zero. And then the next order pair, which is minus five pi by four, comma minus one. 
So here we get a point where minus 5 pi by 4 and minus 1 intersects. And the next radian which is minus pi and we already drawn a line on it. And the next radian which is minus 3 pi by 4 and its value is 1. So here we get a point where minus 3 pi by 4 and 1 intersects. And then the next order pair which is minus pi by 2 comma 0. So here we get a point as the value of y is 0. So this point lies on x axis. And then the next order pair which is minus pi by 4 comma minus 1. So here we get a point and then we have 0 and its value is infinity. So we already drawn a line on it and then we have pi by 4 comma 1. So here we get a point where pi by 4 and 1 intersects. And the next order pair which is pi by 2 comma 0. So here we get a point on x axis and then we have 3 pi by 4 and its value is minus 1. So here we get a point where minus 1 and 3 pi by 4 intersects and we have pi and its value is infinity. So we already drawn a line on it and then we have 5 pi by 4 and its value is 1. So here we get a point where 5 pi by 4 and 1 intersects and then we have 3 pi by 2 comma 0. So as the value of y is 0, we get a point on x axis and then we have 7 pi by 4 and its value is 1. So here we get a point. And then we have 2 pi and its value is infinity. So we already drawn a line on it. So by joining all these points, we get a curve of y equal to cortex. And make a note of the following points that the graph of cortex is discontinuous at x equal to minus 2 pi, minus pi, 0, pi, 2 pi, etc. And the cortex curve does not pass through the origin. So this was a basic introduction on how to draw a graph of a trigonometric function cortex. Hope you understood the concept. Do like and subscribe to vdchacademy.com. Thanks for watching. Have a nice day.